Hola, amigos y amigas. Hello. Today I'm going to read you a book that is about the symbols and the keys that we see on a map. So we are learning about reading maps and what maps represent. And we also need to be able to understand the little drawings, the colors, the symbols, and what they represent while we're looking at a map. So this book is a bilingual book. It's entitled Claves y Símbolos en los Mapas, Keys and Symbols on Maps. I might need to move my picture at some point. Observa un mapa. ¿Qué es lo que ves? Look at a map. What do you see? Okay, this is where I have to move my picture so that we can see the words. Ves símbolos y una clave. You see symbols and a key. This right here, what the little boy is holding up, right, is the key on a map that allows us to understand that this little line, when we see that, represents a railroad track. Let me move my picture again. Los símbolos representan cosas más grandes como montañas, calles, o hasta arroyos. Symbols stand for bigger things like mountains, streets, or even streams. So as we look at this little map, we realize that drawings can represent the real things we see in life, like this river. So if we look here, we see that's a stream and it represents something real on the land itself. Los símbolos son muy pequeños. Symbols are also, are so very small. So if we look in this magnifying glass, we can look to see that there are little tiny red lines and there are little tiny dots that represent things that are much bigger. Los mapas y globos de requesos no pueden mostrarlo todo. Maps and globes can't show it all. Un puntito podría ser una ciudad. A city might be a little dot. So if we look at this map, I'm going to take my arrow, that tiny little dot represents Fredericksburg or Richmond. Even though it's very tiny, it represents a big city, bigger than Oregon City or Milwaukee. Un carro podría representar un estacionamiento. A car might mean a parking lot. So if we look here, this symbol of a yellow car represents parking lot or estacionamiento. Right here, we see there is a parking lot drawn into this map. Fíjate en la esquina para encontrar la clave. Una herramienta útil que explica lo que ves. Look in the corner to find the key. A handy tool to explain what you see. Here's that key, and it's one of our vocabulary words, clave, key. And it tells us what each of these symbols on the map represents in real life. Los mapas nos muestra de todo, desde ríos gigantes hasta parques con columpios. Maps can show us lots of things, like giant rivers or parks with swings. Solo usa símbolos y la clave. Leer mapas es fácil y divertido. Just use the symbols and the key. Reading maps is fun and easy. Let's move my face so we can see her beautiful face. There it is. And that's the end. And this is the glossary in the book. 
where it talks about the words that are important words. Ciudad, city, clave, key, globo, terraquesos, or glo globes, mapa, which is map, map in English, montañas, which are mountains, símbolos, and symbols. All very important words when we're learning about maps. Thanks for listening, friends.